All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to start saying all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, <clears throat> Bashem, Rakha Kodash, uh, to the Apostle Elders, Great Millstone, and Shalom, Wakasad, Lahabakyar, which is peace and mercy to the elect uh, throughout the four corners, wherever you may be. I'm the brother Omar from the branch of GMS Cleveland. Uh, come back at you in another video. And um, as you can see on the screen and uh, from the clip that I was playing, um, I'm just read the title. It says some. It says some U.S. holiday shipping, of uh, shopping could be the cheapest in years, right? And uh, they would, you know, and this is according to what it said retail executives, man. You know what I'm saying? People that are looking, that are looking at the numbers, that are looking at these graphs, these charts, um, you know, GDPs, and you know all these other things, and um, the economists basically, which are the keepers, um, written in uh, Ecclesiastes twelve. The twelve chapters when the twelfth chapter when talking about the keepers of the house shall tremble. The keepers of the house is talking about um the economists, which I believe the word economist uh goes back to house management or, or something to that effect. But uh yeah, this is all prophetic. Um let me uh get some precepts real quick. And this is the beautiful thing about prophecy is that uh you know, anything, any and everything that happens on this earth, it, it, somehow, some way, it goes back to prophecy. Yeah. Now, it's the job of the prophet to point these things out, highlight them, and uh, bring them to the forefront and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. That's, that's, that's our job. You know what I'm saying? The Lord has given us the gift of prophecy to understand uh, the things that are happening, and then we're able to link it uh, with the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, that is that is indeed a gift. And not only to link it, but actually to literally believe it, to speak these things into existence, bro. That's amazing. So, um let me let me let me start it off right here. <laughs> I wanted to get something else, but let me start off right here. This is the book of Revelation one verse three. It says, Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. And keepeth those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand, man. Right. So it's, it says, blessed is he that readeth, man. In order for you to understand prophecy, you have to read. You know what I'm saying? You have to study. And then the Lord will sup with you that way. You know what I'm saying? When, you, when you're doing your due diligence, man. When you are reading your study and looking up history, paying attention to prophecy, that's when the Lord give you the breakdown. He give you the download. So it says, blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, right? And some of these prophecies, um, some of them came to pass, some of them are coming to pass, and some of them will come to pass. Um, but nonetheless, we have to pay attention to uh, the prophecy, all right? It says, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand, right? We are keeping uh, the things that are written therein, meaning we are um, we are uh, wholeheartedly doing what the scriptures say and uh we believe um what the scriptures say concerning uh you know the future you know what i'm saying about how babylon the great will eventually get destroyed uh um and the nation of israel in particular uh the one third the elect will uh, get saved from the upcoming uh, upcoming destruction all right so yeah, these are things that we believe in. You know what I'm saying? So it says for the time is at hand. And we we know and understand that the time is short, man. All right. This 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 kingdom doesn't have uh that much longer. Hell, I'm actually literally surprised that um, you know, you know, we're about to go into twenty twenty four. We're about the we're about a month shy of uh twenty twenty four. I mean, I mean anything can happen from, from this point till then but still you know more more than likely we're probably going to make it to 2024 um but i'm surprised it even made it this damn far man to 2023 you know what i'm saying brothers was hoping that uh in that you know earlier in the summer that uh, the fed now would kick off and you know all these other things but he saw doing what he saw do which is constantly kicking the uh, can down uh the road which is is only buying him more time eventually some at some point you're going to run out of road um, so let me, let me get, let me get, uh, the scripture to which this, this, this video, uh, was inspired by, um, I actually thought of this precept immediately when, um, when I seen this, 
you know what I'm saying? The spirit just hopped on me. I said, you know, hey, I gotta I gotta hop in the spirit real quick. So let me start off right here. This is uh second Ezra 16, verse 19. Brothers already know where I'm going. Point in 21. Second Ezra 16, verse 19. It says, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a mimic. Right? These things are sent for corrections, man. All right, whenever um you know, humanity gets uh, uh, way too proud. The Heavenly Father, he starts to, uh, you know, send these things to humble, um, you know, the the the, uh, the world. You know what I'm saying? And it's, and that's talking about in an oik in many sins because you even got two thirds of our people. They're they're proud, man. They're on they're they're uh, on a high horse. So the Lord, it, he's about to send these things as scorches for a minute. You know what I'm saying? To correct you. And there's twenty. It says, but for all these things, they shall not turn. From their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. It says, "It's right." It says, "But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be mindful, nor nor be always mindful of the scourges." So even though all these things um, are coming upon people, even as I speak, because you have media blackouts that are not covering certain things that are, that are taking place on Earth, he so only covers what uh, he wants to cover uh, concerning, um, you know, his agenda. Uh, he, he has an agenda and a narrative that he likes to push, and uh, he's only covering the things that he wants to cover that he, that he sees that benefits his plans. So it says, verse 21, here's the point, and here's uh, what we see uh, concerning this video. It says, uh, behold, victuals, which are goods, items. All right. It says, behold, victuals shall be so cheap, shall be so uh, good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall uh, evils grow upon earth, swore famine and great confusion. So like, even though a uh, majority of the items they were showing or the victuals, what they were showing uh, on the video um, was like mainly toys, you know what I'm saying? Stuff uh, like, you know, um, electronics and stuff. St st when, when people see sales and, and stuff like that and, Things being so cheap, they think, you know, things are good. They think the economy, for the most part, is, you know, okay, it's bouncing back. And, you know, uh, you know, the things are not as good as, um, you know, things are not as bad as they as, as, as they thought. But, no, it's, no, things, it says, Behold, victory shall be so good cheap, shall, show, shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Right, they're going to think that, they, that everything is good, man. Like, no, bro, no. The Heavenly Father is about to send Yahweh Shah back uh, to do damage, man. And even before that, which that's the uh, the day of the Lord, even before that, it's going to be a lot of chaos, a lot of uh, a lot of bad and evil times coming, man. And you are you are you you are going to wish that you took heed to uh, to uh, what the men of the Lord were saying, if you are indeed an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? But going back to the point as well, when uh, uh when when shit is high like the cost of living so to speak so you can understand when when items are are uh are inflated you know what i'm saying you you go to the grocery store and you paying an arm and a leg uh to uh you know to get by and to get basic necessities you know what i'm saying that's when people people start to complain about man you know things are bad out here the economy is bad blah 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 so they understand that the economy reflects uh the the harsh the hard times or the times that they're living in if, if inflation is up and, and the cost of living is up and rent and all that is, you know, high, people are going to equate that with bad times. Right. But uh, uh, not knowing that even when things are, are, are so-called having this people, uh, the economy and uh, businesses are having sales and they sell the items for cheap, that 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 too, in a sense, is um it can be a, a sign of uh, bad times coming pursuant to the scripture, man. All right, but it just so happened that people equate uh, the cost of living when it's high um, with bad times. They, they don't pay attention to when you know things are being so cheap. But uh, anyway, man, um, that's why, man. You know, us watching, man, we, we are hoping and praying to the Lord that twenty twenty four is if it's not the year that we get delivered, man. Lord willing, just a lot of more prophecy comes to pass, man. Especially the MOTB, that's the main one. And we you know we understand that eventually they want to, uh, you know, they want to uh, swap the the old the old system out with the new one. What I mean by that is that they want to go fully digital, and uh, eventually that will lead to the MOTB. You know what I'm saying so 
we see what this devil is doing. We just gotta keep paying attention and keep watching, and um, pray when it, when that when those uh, bad times come that the Lord uh, delivers us uh, from um, you know those times, those said perils. Like sure, like sure, say that was in that same chapter, I believe. Uh, when Ezra was like, "What was me? What was me? Who shall deliver me in those days?" Because he understood that the vision that he was seeing, it was it was fucked up. All right, and to put it in lamest terms. Um, this is Revelation 22 and 7. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the book, the prophecy of this book, man. Right. So the Lord said, He, he cometh quickly. You know what I'm saying? And he said, Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the of the prophecy of this book, man. So, man, we, we look, man, we honed in, man. You know what I'm saying? We honed in. We we wholeheartedly believe that the Lord will eventually come back and save us, man. That's what this thing is about. You know what I'm saying? We trying to receive salvation, man. We ain't trying to fucking stay here in Babylon and rot away. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you know, you 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 work your ass off. Let's let's just say, all right, you know what I'm saying? Because you got people, are people that that work their ass off to become, you know, so called millionaires or get some type of substance and and, and acquire some type of wealth, all right, and, and, and a little bit of assets and money. You do all of that, and then guess what? Esau Edom still has the power to strip that away from you and find some type of loophole or bullshit um, excuse to strip you of those things. Or you get with a, a woman that you desire and not knowing, not knowing that her intentions is to only get with you to take, to eventually take your money and your, uh, your, um, your assets that you have and then get with another nigga and screw him. And it's like, man, this is hell, man. You, you have to, you have to be signing and crying to you. How about you? try to get the hell out of here, man. There's no way in hell you can you can be cool with this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck out of here, man. I'm gonna jump down, man. Um, this is uh Revelation twenty two and nine. Then said he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren, the uh um, it says, uh, the prophets and of them which keep the sayings of this book worship Yahweh. All right, it says, and he said, and he said unto me, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. And that's the thing, you have some men out here that know, um, you know, the scriptures and they're sealing the sayings of this uh, book, man. And that can be in various ways, man. That can be you knowing the truth and you not saying anything or not doing anything to push and, uh, the, the scriptures because not everybody's gonna be a prophet but you you do have ways to contribute uh to uh pushing the word all right be even if it's just word to mouth or you you know putting up you know, things on your you know certain platforms or whatever man you know what i'm saying um the lord the lord will put it in your spirit on um to, to for you to know what to do on how to forward the ministry but for the most part it's going into the ones that know the truth and that are that are um keeping her their swore back from blood, that are that are not uh going through the gates. You know what I'm saying are, are the gaps. You know what I'm saying that's when you read uh Ezekiel the thirteenth chapter. All right, you know what I'm saying so you you know look man, you 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 don't seal the sayings uh this don't seal the sayings of the prophecy of this book, like sure say for the times at hand. You got to know the times that we're living in. The MOTB is around the corner, and hey, Jacob's trouble is around the corner as well. So with that, I want to say all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakai, Kodash. Hey, double out to the positive, great millstone, and shalom.